First pitch on its way. This is skied into short left center. Frazier comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now Rowdy right. Tellez the number next to bat. Four. One for one with a single so far. Now here's the first offering. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Again, a one two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Grounded back up the middle. He's right there. And there's out number two. Now into the box. JT Real Muto popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. The bouncer to the left side, gloved by LeMahieu. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. And this is low, ball one. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Two and one now. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. All even now, two and two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the center fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now back. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Luke Voigt, picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Now here's the pitch. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Fouled off. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right now there. Batting. Usually you're Left trying for a swing and miss when Wait. you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. To the plate now, Clint Frazier. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. 
I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player after coming off a curveball the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. The job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Popped him up. Tellez in foul ground. No problem with this one and the inning is over. One two three go the Bombers. They still trail it here two to one. Ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Popped up. Void has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, the switch hitter, Willie Castro. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least so you know he wants to make up for it right here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Fifth inning two to one our score. Boy that's just about in the catcher's glove there it's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound and he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Next here is Joaquin Dias he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one and that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left his second of the game as they extend the lead a bit it's now three to one. Second home run of the game right there he is locked in at the plate you hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. At the plate, Javier Baez lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt during the break I caught up with the Yankees manager to discuss his thoughts on his team's offense and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0 2 and 1 2 and that's basically never a formula for success he said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at bat good stuff Heidi thanks in now is the Yankees D.H. Aaron Hicks he'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. One and one the count now. And now a pitch on the way. Changeup laid off down around the shins. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Harper at the track, the wall, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A 
A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Yankees have cut it to a 3 to 2 score now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here comes the one two. Misses, ball two. Right side. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That long dart felt so good. Oh, Dio, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Here's Randall Gritcher. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Comes set and the 0 1. Nope, and he misses with it 1 and 1. Urshela gets his lead at first, nobody out. Fouled away. A bouncer up the middle. The second for one on to first and they get them both. Just a two hopper to short can't ask for anything easier than that and they roll up your basic six four three double play. In now Reese McGuire. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Flew out in his only at bat so far. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Popped up. Lindor calls for it, and he's got it for the final out of the frame. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. Five innings complete. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. The right field. Bryce Harper. First offering on its way. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. And he fouls this one off. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Oh, a 
And this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the second deck and gone. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper and even 30 home runs on the year as they push the lead to four to two. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. Matt Andrees takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Giancarlo Stanton now as he'll lay off a curveball up in the zone for a ball one and oh a hit in two tries for him so far. Now the one oh is swung on and missed in that strike one bases are empty here nobody out. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. Francisco Lindor will be next. Now the three and two pitch. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The payoff pitch one more time. Pitch is popped up. Torres is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor flew out last time up. He comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch as the first pitch to him is a change up that can't find the zone it's ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. One out nobody on. And this one runs a little too far in ball two. He's set and the two one pitch. And a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Rowdy Tellers waits on deck. Full count, here it comes. And it's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 3 2 one more time, fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Now to bat, Rowdy Tellers. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the AB on its way. 
runners on first with one down. That's to the left and foul. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box now, JT Realmuto. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2 0. You give this hitter count leverage, he probably tries to ambush a fastball. 1-1 one, one count, he's got to really think through this and have a great game plan. Lindor on third. Tellez is over at second with one down in the inning. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Marte is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they will tack on another on the sack fly, make it a 5-2 game now. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. That brings up Alec Bohm, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Now here's the first offering, as he'll take a breaking ball in off the plate for ball one. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Voigt has got it, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Phillies lead it 5-2. to two. Here's Starling Marte. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on, start some traffic in motion, he might have something. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Harper. He's there and records the first out. Up next, next to hit is DJ LeMayhew. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul Whoa, ground. Ball A ball of no strikes. Help, one and oh. Drilled right back up the middle. Throw in time at first for out number two. Next up will be Glaber Torres. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D-roll, okay. then give up a two-out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A-B. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at-bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two-out lightning start. 
Into the box, Luke Voigt. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Down the left field line and deep, and it's a foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. The Yanks leave one, and the deficit remains five to two. Now I've got choice to say.